Hi folks, this is question five. So arithmetic sequence, so we just have to remember arithmetic sequence are just simple sequences where they go up by the same number each time. So that's a, an example of a, an arithmetic sequence, eight, 11, 14, 17, they all go up by three. So if they all go up by three, what we have to know here is that T2 minus T1 has to be the same thing as T3 minus T2. That's just, a, it's the difference between each term it has to be the same. And that's what we have to do here to solve the first one. So uh, T2 is 5P minus 3. So if I take away 2P plus 1 from that, that has to be equal to T3, which is 6P plus 7, minus T2, which is 5P minus 3. And it's just solving this equation then. So 5P minus 3 minus 2P minus 1 has to be equal to 6P plus 7 minus 5P plus 3. Right, put the P's together. So 3P minus 4 is equal to P plus 10. Bring the P across, we have 2P is equal to bring the minus 4 across, then it's plus 4, so it's 14, so P is equal to 7. And that's all for part A. The next part is geometric sequence. So if you look in your log tables, uh, now, geometric sequence is when there, something is being multiplied each time. So if the first term was 3 and it's being multiplied by 3, by 2 each time, well, then the next one would be 6, and then the next one would be 12, and then the next one would be 24. And that's where the common um, ratio is. Well, this, the thing that is being multiplied by each time is 2 in that, in that example up there. So the general term for that is T of n is equal to AR the power of n minus 1 so we have to use that here so a is always the first term in the sequence r is always the the common ratio so i'm going to let t because we have we know what g7 is uh, i'm going to call it g here so g7 that would be where i put a 7 in instead of n into that uh, formula that i have so that would be a r we don't know either of those yet put to the of seven minus one and we know that that has to be equal to six because sorry this term six g of seven is six so a r of seven minus one is six has to be equal to six so we'll just leave that there for a minute then do the other one so g11 then has to be equal to that's where we do a r to the power of eleven minus one so that's the same, and that has to be equal to, to 3 over 8, because we know that g of 11 is 3 over 8. So a r to the power of 10 has to be equal to 3 over 8. And it's just using simultaneous equations then. I'm going to let a be equal to 6 over r to the power of 6 in this one. So now a is equal to 6 over r to the power of 6. So I'm going to put 6 over r to the power of 6 in instead of a in the other equation. So 6 over r to the power of 6 multiplied by r10 is equal to 3 over 8. Then, um, if I do R10 divided by R6, I just get R4. So 6R4 is equal to 3 over 8. So then R4 is equal to, if I bring across the 6 and divide it, I get 3 over 6 eighths or 48. Now, 3 over 48 is the same thing as 1 over 16. And 
and then you can put in the fourth root into your calculator if you want or you might be able to see that it's going to be uh, 1 over 2 so uh, r then is equal to 1 over 2 now it says back in the question so the question it could be that there's going to be two answers but so if you think about it it could also be minus 1 over 2 so minus a half because minus a half to the power of 4 would be 1 over 16 as well 1 over 2 to the power of 4 is 1 over 16 so those are our two answers for r and that was all we needed to do there we don't have, we don't even need to go get a you could put both of those back into that to that one there and figure out what a is if you needed to but they don't ask us to do that here right last part then the first part is okay we're just getting what f1 and f2 is so f1 is just where we differentiate that so f of zero that f is, e is equal to uh, x to the power of uh, 2024 so if i differentiate that i'm just going to do 2024 multiplied by the one there in front of the x so 2024 x to the power of and then the power just drops down by one so it's 2023 so that's what f1 would be because i've just differentiated it and that's what we do f2 then would be so now i'm going to do 2023 multiplied by 2024 and obviously we're going to get something very big there so we get 409 4552 And then x and then that's to the power of and i drop down the power again so it becomes two zero two two and that's all i have to do for the first part second part is a little bit harder to see then so you'll notice what's happening each time that we go and do another one so if i was to get f3 then the next time i would be dropping down the power to 2021 but i'd have to multiply that number in front by 2021 obviously we're going to get something massive there so we have to keep we have to find see which value it goes up to that it will give me a zero so i'll give you an example if i was to pick something a lot simpler to do with so if i was to just to pick 2x uh, to the power of 3 so if i was to differentiate that it would give me 6x squared obviously and then if I was to differentiate that again, it would give me 12x. And then if I was to differentiate that again, it would give me 12. And then if I was to differentiate that, it would just give me zero. So if, if that was the question there, it would just take uh, one, two, three, four goes to get zero. So we, we have to think, obviously when I multiply here, the, but the power by the number each time, it, this, this number in front gets bigger and bigger each time. But when the power, when this power gets reduced down uh, to zero, well then it, it's going to it's going to go all together. So let's think about it with, with this question now. So f we know f zero is x to the power of. Two thousand twenty four. So F one is that thing F four zero nine four five five two X to the power of two thousand twenty two. So if I was to keep going down, keep going on and on then, if you have to think about it, f of 2024, well, it would just be some big massive number, I'll just maybe circle there for example, some big massive number, x, to the power of zero so f 2024 has to be some big massive number because we've multiplied number after number 
um, all the way down along so then but that would still leave us because x to the power of zero is one so that would just leave us with that big number so that's not zero we want it where it's zero so it would be the next one then so it would be f of 2025 So now it will be zero multiplied by the big number, so that gives me zero, and the x drops down, or the x is gone. So uh, that's uh, the answer, so it would be 2025.